what is up guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new year same shit though am i right and today is a very special day sunday no no i just today is obviously valentine's day and i hope wherever you're watching this you're feeling very loved and special whether you're celebrating with a partner or a friend or whoever it is that you want to share a little bit of love with if you're a single girl like myself however today is just another pressure free money saving day but do you know what? I thought this time around, I'd do something a little bit different and provide some light entertainment, mainly for myself, but now for you lovely lot. So given the restrictions going on outside at the moment, seriously, what is with the hand? Dating has literally not even been on my list of things to do this year. Yet another thing I could not be bothered to do. I think this is the first time I've honestly got dressed in something other than sweat and put makeup on. So, but I had a little 3 a.m. idea. They're always the best, right? And that idea, my friends, my amigos, to do a romantic, sort of, not really themed q a so i've done one of these before i did it with my friend now i was doing it for a master's degree given that it's a special day today it's all about romance and love i thought what better people to ask than my tinder matches that's right i am asking complete strangers to ask me any question they want to and i will answer it first thing was first wrote myself out a little bio explaining the concept for my future hobbies to see and then i went right ahead and downloaded tinder Obviously this was taking a little while so I picked out some photos, you know, like ones I took before we had to uh, social distance. And once that was done, I opened Tinder on up, filled out some weird new criteria, uploaded the pics and began my matching. So I'm not sure if people on Tinder just don't read bio or maybe they were a little bit nervous. I wasn't getting any questions through in the beginning. I sent out a little prompt message which looked like this and then I waited. But thankfully we got some questions in. We did it. Without further ado, let's get into answering them. Does the fact I'm 38 in April bother you? And last but not least, I lost my phone number. So can I have yours please? Being 38, doesn't really bother me to be honest it is a fair bit older than me but love doesn't have an age in it did i just say that out loud i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna be sick no it doesn't bother me to answer the second part all right what's the biggest secret you've ever kept from your parents i hope your parents watched the video lol i think i answered something similar to this in my previous q and a i'll quick fire it here probably going to parties when one underage two that i was going to stay at a friend's house and probably three dunking school a fair bit before i calmed the heck really down <laughs> we had to work a little bit for he replied oh wow um any question i mean technically that is a question i let it slide i wanted to see what he had to ask to which i responded yep anything you like which he asked if you could have one superpower what would it be and why or is that too tame no kind sir that is not too tame i'm not trying to get banned entirely from youtube so thank you that's your question i would choose teleportation because i don't want to pay these damn flights anymore and i know some people are just watching this thinking maybe you could choose flights one it's just not as fast. And two, as Ron Swanson said, if humans could fly, you would consider it exercise and never do it. This guy was very smooth. He tried to let me in by saying this wasn't his question. After I asked him if he was sure he wanted, where are you from then? to be answered in a YouTube video. But unfortunately, I'm just gonna use that one. I'm born and raised in Bristol, if you can't tell by the slight farmer accent. I technically haven't been here for the past six years due to going to university in Leeds and moving to London for work. And as stated in a previous video, I did try and move to Australia. So the year that I have actually been back in Bristol after only making it as far as Japan, spent indoors, not going out, not enjoying the nightlife. It's been kind of sucky, but it's gonna be insane when people my age the vaccine. Hmm. Can you deep throat an eight inch? I really like that he had a hmm in front of it. Had really, really, really thought about this question. I wasn't going to put this one in, but I'm going to answer this one. I'm going to answer it by saying, I think we both know you're being a bit generous to yourself there. What's your passport number? Seems legit. It's four. This guy was great. Probably had a Google of these, but why is a building called a building when it's already built? Imagine if buildings were called built. All right, love, I'm just gonna pop in this built. I don't know why I went all this happened. No, it just doesn't have the same kind of ring to it. Also, who says that buildings aren't designed to keep being built onto? Maybe they're called buildings because they can keep on building. Why are you trying to halt a building's growth, bro? Obviously, I had to send him back this gift, to which he replied with another question. What were electric eels called before electricity was invented? Let's ask my friend Google. 
This is what Google has to say. The electric eel is a South American electric fish. In 2019, it was classified as the only species in its genus. Despite the name, it is not an eel, rather a knife fish. There you have it, probably called a knife fish. Obviously I had to hit him with another gif. To which he replied, why can you drink a drink but not food a food? Dude, I know I didn't go to school, but pretty sure food is not a verb. So you can't food food. But you can eat it, because then that's the doing word. Just like drink is a doing word. And an out. Oh, you're legit just swiping for the YouTube thing. Fair enough. Say I have any particular burning questions to ask you. And then goes on to ask me a question. The only question I think to ask would be Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings, with the obvious choice being Lord of the Rings. Why is it obvious, huh? But seriously, it is actually obvious. A lot of my friends are Harry Potter fans. Probably won't be my friends after they watch this. But me personally, I'm a big fan of the Lord of the Rings. I love the cinematography, the storyline. I love the books. Not that I've read all of them. It's just a shame about the Hobbit movies. They were bad. The book is so good. Ariana Grande? I wish. Can you get some legs for your bed, please? Thanks. Kiss. Legs are overrated. I've actually weirdly seen this question be asked quite a fair bit in other videos. Do you wipe your bum sitting or standing up? Somebody asked me this as I was like sitting down and they said that apparently if you ask there are lots of people doing it standing up, which I found shocking. So number one, you were taking a dump while someone asked you this question. That's cool, I guess. Number two, I sit down. Any idea of standing up really weird. What about like, what about like poo when you stand up? Oh my God, the idea of it, oh God. <laughs> Do you think your existence has any significant purpose? And if so, what do you think it is? This question is chef's kiss. Hopefully have a purpose. Otherwise it would be a bit weird if I was just randomly here. Just to bring a little bit of joy and positive change in my little pocket of the universe. That would be enough purpose for me. Will there ever be a boy born can swim faster than a shark? Can you imagine? That would be sick. Kana, extra bits or smooth? I like pulp. Would you rather have fingers as long as your legs or legs as long as your fingers? I think I'm gonna have to go with fingers as long as your legs. Can you imagine what you could like reach? Would look a little bit weird, but it would be kind of sweet. Would you rather have the ability to write things into existence? Or be able to make anything you touch become sentient. I'm presuming that means like give it feelings and some mental beingness. Really should have gone to school. Only boundary is the scope of your creativity. Honestly, gotta be the ability to write things into existence. Write me every little crazy invention that popped into my brain. A car that could truly go underwater. A big old bridge that went from Earth to Mars and anybody can go on it. That would be so cool. Just put on a little spacesuit, get on the bridge, go. Even a world underground tube line would be so good. Just write it, poof, it would just become real. Or even just something really handy, keep my damn hair grips in. I would go wild. This question, it can be a little uh, risque, but I'm gonna answer it. What do women in general go to when watching porn? To be honest with you, most porn is really boring. It's just really fake. I can't really speak for women as a whole. We're all into different things, just like guys. So it can be literally anything. When a woman is in a relationship, do they still fantasize about past experiences and other people they know? Um, wouldn't say fantasize. What's the right way to say this? Once again, I cannot speak for women entirely. I'm gonna say no. We don't fantasize about past relationships. You know, there are things that we've learned from past experiences that we will compare at that good and the bad. What does that mean for the way they view their current partner? We all know that every relationship is going to be different, so we kind of don't tend to put that pressure on to a current partner. I think it changes our view of you. It's just a case of, we just want you to be nice. So we're going to register if you're being nice to us or not. Yeah. Three questions, best answered quick fire. One change of yourself or country or world. I think the obvious one is getting rid of Rona. Worst drunk slash sober embarrassment. Worst drunk embarrassment was definitely losing my ID on the underground and then having to go and get it a couple of days later. Sober embarrassment. I am a walking embarrassment. Seek in a match. Humor, charm, very little ego, drive. And that is 
it. Just want to give a big shout out to all the lads that sent me in a question. Couldn't have done this video without you. A lot of you I have probably sent a link to and you're probably watching this and you're probably thinking that really didn't help my question at all. But for some of you it might have. And um, I hope you can sleep well at night with E now that I've answered your burning question. I appreciate all of my Tinder boyfriends this Valentine's Day. Obviously, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. It provided a little bit of entertainment on a very special day. But honestly, I think you should you should stop watching this now. You know, got some love to go out and give. So see you. Bye.